Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm here with the new Natasha Denona, the tan bronze and glow palette. This is brand new. Um, it dropped today. Excuse my voice. I have a cold. It dropped today on the Sephora website. You can also find it on Beautylish, I think, um, called Beauty, Natasha Denona online. I am leaving for vacation soon, um, in a couple days. So, um, I figured I wanted to get this video up before I go because I'm not going to have a video for a while. So I picked up mine from one of her flagship stores in New York City. Now this is what it looks like. It's very pretty, nice and gold. And as you know, she already has the Bloom Blush and Glow palette, which I absolutely love. Now this retails for $55 and it has a total of four shades, just like the Bloom Blush and Glow palette. This is what the inside looks like. These are the shades. But unlike the Bloom Blush and Glow palette, this has one cream. That one has two creams. So there's one cream and then there's uh, three powders. Now just to talk a little bit, and it also has, you know, the cover that she puts to separate the cream um, from the powder. Now to talk a little bit about the palette, this um, it says it's a midi bronze and glow palette with shades of alluring bronze, creamy tan, and incandescent champagne, and it is cruelty free. It goes on to talk about each product and the amount of grams in each product and whatnot. If you want to know all that information, you can always go on the Sephora website and read that information. Now, when I saw this palette was launching. My first concern was because from the pictures that I, that I had seen, I couldn't tell if this color right here if it was really dark or not. And looking at it, it's not. So I figured, I if you're new here, like I always say, I'm NC50 and Mac. I figured for you know my dark skin girls, especially girls around NC50 like me, who are curious about this color. I'll be like, you know, the test, the tester. You guys can decide whether you want it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the, swatch the shades. And I'm going to start with this, the blush shade right here. Because when I looked at her story, she was calling it um, the blush shade. Wow, it feels like cream. It's a powder, but it feels, it feels like cream. It feels very nice. This is what it looks like on my hand. Now on my hand, it's looking like it has like a slight peach undertone, not as dark as I would like, but we'll see. Next, I'm going to swatch this shade right next to it. It's a nice champagne gold, then the shade above it. This has a slight peach undertone, very pretty. And then I'm going to swatch the cream shade. Now these all have names. Um, the cream is not, it feels nice, but it's not really showing up. Well, it showed up a little bit on my skin tone. It's the one, um, right here. This is why I wanted to do this video in case, you know, you're of a darker complexion and you're curious to see how the shades would swatch on you. Okay now, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting it on my face. The shades, I'm gonna list them in the description box because I'm blind as a bat, I'm not gonna be able to read it off and it's written in white. So as I was seeing from her Instagram stories, she's been starting with the blush or bronzer shade, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to put that and I'm using my regular blush brush. And I'm gonna put that like right here. This has such an unusual form. It actually feels cold, but it's so creamy. It's like, I haven't felt anything like this. It doesn't feel like a powder, but it's a powder. It's like, oh, it's very pretty. I don't know how much it's picking up on camera, but it's giving me a beautiful, like a bronze peachy wash of color. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. 
I'm surprised at the payoff I'm getting. Wow. And you can definitely build it up. This formula, if, oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a cream. I think that is very beautiful. Anyway, after that, she was going in with the creams before she put like the, um, the highlight powders. So I'm gonna use my fingers. I saw her using her beauty blender. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna take the cream right here and I'm just gonna put it like right here. Okay, this has a very light champagne color. So for my skin tone, I don't think I'm gonna go ham on this, but it does look very pretty and very, very soft. I think it's very flattering. I'm, I'm like really pleasantly surprised right now how the colors are turning out on my skin. And then next I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna use my regular highlighting brush and I'm gonna put that over the cream. These feel so soft and so beautiful. This color is very similar to the cream color. It has that um, champagne. Wow, very, very pretty. They're so soft and buttery. The formula feels even nicer than the formula in the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Wow. This is so gorgeous. Okay, so now lastly, I'm gonna go in with this one. I think this one is the one that's really supposed to pop and make your give your skin that like really wet look. So I'm gonna put this color, the color of the blush or whatever, it's beautiful. This is gorgeous and it looks very nice on my NC50 skin tone, I think. Anyway, so let's go in with this one. And this one is supposed to be really, really um, iridescent. And I'm gonna put this like on my cheek area and then bring it up. Oh yes. Very, very nice. These blend so smoothly. They look so flattering because I was afraid that, you know, it would start looking ashy because of like, you know, the light champagne color, but it doesn't. And I'm gonna go back in with some of this shade right here and put it right here. I love this color. Didn't think this was definitely gonna be one of my favorite colors, but it is so pretty. The formula of these guys, so beautiful. So this is how everything looks. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love this. It gives a beautiful sun-kissed look. It's not over the top. I think it looks very nice on my NC50 skin tone. Wow. All right guys, so this is it on both of my cheeks and I love it. I think it looks so pretty. I am so happy with the blush color. This looks so pretty on my skin tone. I think if you're a little darker than me, you can pull this off as well because obviously I have my ring light on. It's making me look a little lighter than I am, but I am NC50 if you can picture that NC50 skin tone. This is absolutely beautiful. And the formula of that blush, especially, it's so beautiful. I, oh, I love that. It's, it's so good. She did an amazing job. I love the brown and gold packaging. I love anything that's gold, as you can tell. This is really, really, really pretty. So if you're thinking of getting this and you're around my skin tone or a woman of color, I think you can. I think you can definitely get it. It looks so good and I know this video is not about um the new metallic lips she came out with but since I was in the store I saw this one this is bronze gold and I was already wearing like a nude color lipstick so when I got back I just put it on and I absolutely love this as well it's just so pretty it's so pigmented but anyway back to the palette I totally recommend this palette if you are a Natasha Denona lover, if you're a makeup lover, if you like to collect makeup like me, I think this would be fantastic for your collection. 
if you're a woman of color, I don't think you have to worry. I think they showed up. I think it did a great job on my skin tone. I absolutely love it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. To all my new subscribers, thank you very much. Like I said, I'm going to be on vacation. So I'll probably see you guys maybe until late next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.